girl Satin, your favorite skincare YouTuber, and I'm back with another video to convince you to go natural with Satchels. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the amazing content I have coming for you and keep our community growing. As you can see, I'm still in Miami enjoying this beautiful weather. Um, and in our last video, I discussed the importance of sunscreen. And in this video, I'm actually going to discuss some of the ways that we can help alleviate any discomfort that you might feel if you happen to actually get sunburned. So as the summer months approach, many of us will be spending our days in the park or at the beach, and chances are the extra sun exposure could leave us with a burn. So sunburns can occur when UV radiation from the sunlight inflames your skin, causing painful itching, um, soreness, and many other forms of discomfort. So that exposure to sunlight also changes the genetic makeup of our skin cells, so it increases our risk of getting certain skin cancers. So there are several remedies that you can do to or use to soothe a minor sunburn, but if your sunburn is extremely severe to the point it's like blistering, you should absolutely consider seeing a doctor for treatment. So while it's hard to get rid of sunburn overnight, I'll be providing you with some of the tips to help reduce the redness and those symptoms, you know, fairly quickly. So the first tip is lotion. Lotion will help soothe the skin. So topical lotions can also have a cooling and soothing effect. So it's recommended that you use an aloe vera or a menthol based lotion to get that cooling. So aloe is also known to reduce inflammation and prevent peeling. However, it's also extremely important to avoid any creams that contain a lot of heavy fragrance since they can be really irritating if you have sensitive skin. Sunburned skin has the tendency to lose moisture and dry out easily, so by continuously moisturizing the skin with a gentle cream or lotion, it helps to hydrate and strengthen the skin before, well, the skin barrier so that you can have that calming effect. So if your sunburned skin becomes flaky and dry, you can upgrade to a thicker moisturizer or ointment. So doctors recommend using over-the-counter hydrocortisone cream if there's any particularly, you know, like extremely itchy areas. Um, the second tip is cool the skin down with a shower or a compress. When your skin feels hot, your first move should be to cool it down. So taking a cold shower or applying a cool compress can help with that. So the American Academy of Dermatology also recommends taking cold baths or showers to help with sunburn. If you leave a bit of water on your skin and apply a moisturizer afterwards, it will trap in that water and help ease the dryness. Some dermatologists also suggest soaking a compress in milk and ice cubes instead of water. Um, Josh Zeichter, director of cosmetics and clinical research at Mount Sinai Hospital, said the proteins from the milk will help coat and protect the skin. Step 3. Take an anti-inflammatory pill if necessary. If your sunburn is particularly painful, you may want to take an aspirin or acetaminophen or even ibuprofen to address the burn from inside out and alleviate any pain that you may have that's associated with your sunburn. Drink water and stay out of the sun. It's especially important to stay hydrated while dealing with the sunburn. The burn draws your body's fluids towards your skin surface, so you should offset that loss by drinking plenty of water. And according to the American Academy of Dermatology, staying out of the sun will also help you avoid dehydration and further injury. The skin is even more sensitive to the sun after a sunburn, so wear extra sunscreen and stay out of the sun as much as possible. Don't pop any blisters if you have them. Severe and widespread blisters require doctor's attention, but if you get a few, leave them be, okay? Opening them up makes them extremely vulnerable to infection. If they pop naturally, clean the open wound with a mild soap and water and cover it with some sort of antibiotic ointment and a bandage. So these are some of my tips to help alleviate pain and discomfort from a sunburn. However, to prevent sunburn, grab 
your Satural Suns Out Buns Out Lotion to protect your skin on those extra sunny days. I will also be posting a link in the description box below for those who wish to purchase. And I also have an amazing lotion that is infused with so much aloe so it will help alleviate any discomfort. I hope these tips are helpful. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. Peace.